Welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to share with you a very interesting conversation I had with my good body artist friend Li Wei. We were just taking a walk two days ago in the 798 district, a famous art district, and we were going to the places that we used to go to see some new galleries, old galleries, and all these different shops and art merchandising stores popping up. We were sitting down in this Time Zone 8 cafe, an old bookstore cafe in the 78 and it was one of the first. And I was talking about how important it is to have a communication strategy for artists, like to have a really solid website, to communicate your art instead of relying on luck or other people. So you really should take the steering wheel of your own art career and try to push yourself as an artist. And suddenly he got really serious and he said, well, I think you don't need a website. You need capital. And I was like, in which sense? Capital. And he was like, well, you need people to put you in touch with the capital, with the people, with money, so that you can have investment as an artist. And I was like, well, if you want to go that way, let's go that way. So it's all about the elitist society, social class, which school you went, who are your parents, is that, that like that? And he was like, no, that's not what I mean. I mean that in my experience, in every artist's career and lifetime, you will be presented with some opportunities. Some are not good and some are golden opportunities. You must have the ability to nail these golden opportunities and jump on it and be integrated into something bigger, like to be invested by a huge company, a foundation or a private collector, so that you could use their strengths and their communication and their money to grow your own brand. And once you are integrated into their company and everything will be taken care, you will not need to worry about your website. They will make your communication for you. And then I started talking and thinking about this for the past two days. And I thought, okay, he has a point. You need to be integrated into a team because no matter how hard you work, 40, 50, 60, 70 hours a week, yes, you can work that hard, but you only have 24 hours a day. If you want to do great art, make a lot of art and work on your own communication, you won't have the time. So what you have to do is to hire people and to hire people, you need money. So you will need to be a part of a, perhaps a company or a foundation or something, a project, so that you could take advantage of other people's money and strengths to grow your own brand. I agree in this sense. But then among my younger artist friends, I heard another voice when my younger friends would say, no, you don't need a website. You need social media like Instagram and that's enough. Okay, you can say against having a website in a variety of different perspectives saying that oh, a website is unnecessary or website is overkill. Like, however you say, like, I don't know what's up with people against having a website, but okay, I have something to say about when people say like website is overkill, you only need social media. That's not the case. Do you remember Microsoft? like MSN time, like messenger time, that there was a, such a thing called the Microsoft like space. And this space used to be the number one training social media platform for musicians to share their content online. And it was great, but guess what? It's not there anymore. And look at Tumblr, it used to be so trending. It used to be hotter than Instagram for artists. And today it's dropping and it's perhaps going to be sold to, I don't know, uh, adult content websites. And things will change and without having your own website, it's not going to be stable. You're risking your whole content creation, like your whole online existence to be wiped out. There is a risk and without paying a server and securing all your content and having your own brand all taken care professionally by yourself or by your team, it's very risky. I wouldn't personally risk my whole entire production um, communication on a social media. And if you grow, let's say, three social medias just to be safe, with that energy, you might just grow your own website, you see? Now let's go back to the point of Li Wei when he mentioned that you don't need a website because once you collaborate with a big company or an art dealer, they will take care of everything for you. It might sound very easy, like, you know, no sweat, you just wait for this opportunity. But guess what? Less than 1% of artists all over the world 
I would say less than 1% would be presented with such opportunities because you are not well known. Nobody would know about you. Nobody would present you with such opportunities. And only by having a communication before you get a mid-career, before you have you know, some exposure, you need to win this exposure to be able to get this opportunity and then to grow further. So especially if you are living in a small town or if you are not in the center of the world, at least that world. For example, you are not in New York, London, Hong Kong, Beijing, Paris. Uh, very likely, if you're watching this video, you're not from those cities and you're looking for a way to grow your presence, to grow your exposure, to grow your community so that you could make a living as an artist. You're not aiming to become the next Demi Hurst, the next Ron English, and the next Kaos. You are aiming just to make maybe 50,000, 60,000, 100,000 dollars every year so that you could pay for the bills, perhaps pay for the mortgage, send your kids to school. And to achieve that, is already considered very successful by many artists today. Looking at your current situation, I think the, still the best bet is to work on your communication, having a strategy as an artist, without capital, without teams, just work day by day, just crunch extra hours, maybe four or five hours every week to work on your own communication, learn about it so that you could be a better manager of your own communication. And once you know what to do, you can outsource, you can hire an intern, a trainee, and sometimes family, friends always help, but you need to know what to do so you could give directions and then grow your brand, grow your art business. Then it's the next step, like Lily said. You will be presented with some opportunities in your career, and then you will have to recognize them and then take the advantage of such opportunities. But before that, there's like at least, I think, 10 years of building a solid career, a solid track record, so that you could be considered by big brands and to be integrated into something bigger. Okay, that's what I wanted to say. It was a bit of everywhere because I had this conversation with Li Wei and he challenged me saying, you don't need a website. And I was like, why? Why many people told me you don't need a website for whatever reason? And I think it was such a misconception, like only businesses need a website, like artists don't need a website. I think this is totally wrong and in the next few videos I will go back to talk about this and perhaps show you what it costs and how to make your own website and it's not that costly and it's not that difficult. If you like this video don't forget to click the thumb up and the subscription so you don't miss the next videos. That's all. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.